Right everybody, this is me and this is a video to show my second peptide injection for BPC157. Just to give you a bit of a rundown on the options I have, here is a 31 gauge insulin needle, as you can see there, it has a tiny little prick on the end which is good for um, areas which are sensitive or areas which are very hard to access normally with a needle um, such as in my case around my Achilles tendon um, and the second needle I have is a 25 gauge standard needle which is here as you see when I take the cap off it's a bit thicker than that one and I haven't used it yet, so hopefully this video doesn't go too badly. However, that's it there. It has markings on it from 1 to 10 mil, and I'm going to be putting just 1 mil. So as you can see there, I'm going to be filling it up just about there with BPC-157, which I'll show you in a moment. There are a couple things you should always remember when you're using this stuff is that you need to keep your environment clean. I washed my hands well before I started this video and I'm going to take my sterile swab and actually wipe the top of my peptide bottle there and I'm going to wipe the side of my ejection which is actually going to be on my leg here so I don't know if you can see my leg well there or not I'll try to make it so you can see it well I'm actually going to do a peptide injection right into the top of my leg about here somewhere in this general region so the reason is is because there are a number of areas in my body which I'm trying to heal and I'm rotating through them with the BPC and I'm going to use the bigger needle this guy it's not that hard it is a smaller needle on the size of when it comes to the size of needles it's a pretty small needle I'm going to take my peptides tip them to one side and then put the needle in there Okay, now I'm going to draw one mil of BPC out. Come on, hold me. Just one mil. Oh, hang on. Because this needle's a little bit longer, some other precautions I need to take to make sure it works properly. Okay, so I put it all the way in, now we're going to pull it out like that. Okay, now that's worked, I believe. It wasn't 100%, but it was um, better than nothing. So now I have my BPC-157 in my 25 gauge syringe you can see here it is it's going to go into my leg and that was a fairly painless experience I did a little bit of twitching or whatever but I'm actually going to rub that now and I'm going to try and push it towards the top of my leg in this general direction. I have actually also used the insulin syringe before to inject in this area around here. Um, this needle goes slightly deeper than the insulin syringe and it's a little bit more painful than the insulin syringe. So, but it's alright. Yeah doesn't hurt too much. So I'll just put that down on the table now and 
give this a good rub. Just for your reference, I've got problems with my hamstring tendon on this side and I've also got problems with some of the ligaments on the front. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed the video of me putting in some BCP 157 peptide into my quad, or the lower part of my quad, and um, thanks for watching.